The following procedures need to be performed before getting started. Stop sample flow by closing the flow regulating valve. Unscrew the fixing sleeve. Finally, remove the sensor from the flow cell. Please pay attention. Do not pull the sensor out with force. To avoid damaging the sensor, slightly open the flow regulating valve before attempting to remove the sensor from the flow cell. This prevents the formation of a vacuum and allows easy removal of the sensor from the flow cell. Unscrew and remove the sensor cap from the Swan sensor Oxytrace G. Empty the remaining electrolyte. Next, refill the sensor cap with fresh electrolyte. Hold the sensor in vertical position with the measuring head pointing downwards. It is important to avoid trapping any air bubbles inside the electrolyte. This can be done by carefully mounting the sensor cap onto the sensor. If the sensor cap is defective, dirty or enlarged, the calibration cannot be performed successfully. In this case, the sensor cap has to be exchanged. This can be done by simply taking out the new sensor cap out of its container. The benefit here is that the membrane itself does not need to be exchanged as it has already been integrated inside the new cap. This allows for simple exchange and guarantees proper function of the sensor. A groove can be found in the thread of the sensor which allows excessive air and electrolyte to escape as the sensor cap is fixed onto the sensor. This allows any present air bubbles to escape with the excess electrolyte through the designated groove in the sensor's thread. Clean the sensor thoroughly and dry the sensing membrane with a soft paper tissue. After this step, an air calibration needs to be performed. If the step is rushed and the sensor cap is mounted haphazardly, the increased pressure on the membrane might cause it to bulge outwards, causing it to reduce the measuring response of the sensor. Finally, it is recommended to reset the maintenance counter in accordance with the replenished electrolyte. Let the sensor run in.